Okay, uh, so uh, welcome all of you and uh, welcome on GATE uh, Academy. Uh, my dear uh, student, uh, today I am going to uh, discuss one of the important uh, topic in fluid uh, mechanics and uh, that important topic is a concept of the drag and uh, lift. Uh, mainly this topic is uh, deal in a boundary layer uh, theory and uh, you can uh, visualize the concept of drag and lift in our uh, daily life and there is a numerous number of example where you can feel the effect of drag and lift. If I will talk about the cricket, in cricket there is a lot of application of drag and lift. Clear. If you think about the how to ball is going to be swing, how to ball is a reverse swing, what is the concept of the late swing, clear. And uh, when in second inning there is a dew is comes into the picture, then what will affect, clear, how this will be, uh, you can say, play a crucial role in the, you can say, batting unit and balling will be uh, less effective, clear. So these are a uh, lot of concept which is uh, related to the uh, drag and lift. So drag and lift, uh, you can say the topic which you need to uh, feel uh, for exam point of view and there is a lot of question which is asked in boundary layer theory in gate or uh, you may be right uh, ESC examination either that will uh, prelim or uh, you can say conventional clear and uh, if you observe last uh, 15 to 20 year gate uh, exam there is a lot of question which is based on the drag and lift. So the numerical which is comes from this particular area which have you can say uh, only basic type of concept but when you uh, appear in a, any uh, interview and uh, if interviewer is asked a question which is uh, related to the concept of drag and lift then the quality of uh, the question will be you can say uh, good and uh, you need to develop a better understanding regarding the drag and lift because <coughs> this uh, topic or you can say this concept required a lot of visibility clear if you have a pro uh, proper feeling uh, you can say proper visualization regarding these topic then you can able to answer the question which is asked by the interviewer okay so i'm just trying to uh, give a you can say a brief introduction uh, regarding these uh, two topic and uh, you should uh, give your maximum attention uh, to understand the topic clear and uh, before starting to these uh, topic i'm just inform you the uh, gate academy should launch a pratigya batch clear a pratigya batch which is uh, running in full of uh, flash you can say and in pratigya batch there is a uh, two subject which are uh, going to uh, run uh, simultaneously clear and uh, both subject uh, is a uh, you can say important subject regarding the gate examination and uh, if you are candidate or uh, you can say serious candidate and looking the gate 2023 so this is a big opportunity for you you uh, may be enrolled in the pratigya batch still you cannot uh, if uh, not join any uh, institute regarding the uh, gate uh, preparation so there is a uh, two different batch which is a uh, running morning batch uh, the timing will be 6.30 a.m. clear and uh, up to the 9.30 a.m. clear that is 9.30 a.m. and in this batch there are subject which is you can say uh, strength of material which is a basic subject and uh, you can say it's strength of material uh, each and every year asked uh, at least 8 to 9 marks and uh, there is huge application of uh, strength of material in uh, machine design and uh, you also know that if you appear an uh, interview uh, any organization you can say the maximum question which is asked by the interviewer is related to the strength of material they also uh, try to check uh, your basic knowledge uh, in a strength of material because that subject is um, uh, you can say one of the best subject uh, easy subject clear you can easily uh, grasp the concept regarding the strength of material clear you, you, there is no any uh, you can say hi-fi concept in strength of material you just go through uh, in a simple way so that subject is uh, currently taken by Ramanand Bansal sir clear you know the Ramanand Bansal sir so, so uh, that subject is uh, almost I think uh, 30 to 40 percent um, uh, till now cover when I am recording the this uh, particular session 
and uh, don't worry about the sub uh, topic which is going to be covered because uh, the separate library will be created and uh, that library you can access in the form of recorded lecture so uh, till now uh, uh, if uh, we talk about there is a lot of subject which is going to be covered and that uh, library will be created so if you interested you can uh, take that subject in recorded form and if you have any doubt you can uh, ask the doubt by your uh, respective concerned faculty member either on whatsapp or on a telegram group uh, which is a paid group clear so and uh, there is a second option for you when uh, that subject is again uh, comes uh, in a live uh, course you can attend the, that live course also so this is uh, the fre <coughs> freedom which is given to you clear either you should maybe complete the subject in recorded uh, format if you feel comfort and uh, uh, if you uh, face some uh, challenges or difficulty you may be join that uh, live course in later of the uh, session when uh, that will happen in a live session second subject will be uh, the production manufacturing and the timing will be the 6 uh, to 9 30 uh, pm clear 9 30 pm 9 30 pm and that subject is taken by mr uh, the processor uh, hod of the mechanical group so uh, and uh, in production i think uh, the uh, topic is casting is running and uh, you can uh, see that topic on uh, you can say on uh, youtube so these uh, topic uh, subject are running in hindi uh, you can say hindi languages uh, if you feel comfort in hindi you can join these batches these batches these batches are running in hindi you can say hindi language if you feel uh, comfort in Hindi, you can join to these uh, batches. Otherwise, if you feel some difficulty in a Hindi language, so you may be purchase uh, our English language course, which is a PDZD or pen drive, yeah, or you can say tablet course, which is in a recorded format. Clear. In an English language, there is no a live session uh, which is going to be happen. So, if you're looking for English language and um, you comfort in English, you may be uh, purchased a uh, recorded uh, course. And a recorded course will be a uh, pen drive form, uh, you can say ZD or uh, a tablet or uh, uh, other, uh, these are the other, the other, the, uh, you can say, uh, uh, format. Okay. So, let me uh, discuss the concept of drag and lift. So, what is the basic concept uh, behind the drag and lift? What do you mean by the drag? See, drag means uh, dragging something, clear. If you want to drag an object, let's say uh, there is a mass which is placed on a horizontal surface and you need to pull the mass or you can say drag the mass. So in which direction you are going to be drag or pull the mass? Uh, the mass will be dragged or pulled in same direction in which you are going to be moved. It means the effect of drag will be developed in same direction in which okay. So there will be a, a effect uh, which is a dragging effect that will develop in the same direction in which the object is uh, moving clear same uh, you can say uh, in a tractor uh, that will be a traction concept so always remember that the drag effect or drag force is always developed in the same direction in which object is uh, you can say object is moving or uh, uh, the uh, effect will be developed in a flow uh, parallel to the flow direction okay and what is the mean, meaning by lifting lifting is simple you can say the effect Okay, so the lifting is uh, the simple you can say in a lifting the effect will be developed in a perpendicular direction. Lifting means the elevation will going to be changed from one location to another. So a lifting effect will be developed in a vertical direction or you can say the perpendicular to the flow direction 
and dragging effect will be developed parallel to the flow direction dragging effect will be developed parallel to the flow direction and lifting effect will be developed perpendicular to the flow direction clear so let me just uh, draw the diagram so you can uh, visualize the condition let's say this will be the uh, body or you can say sphere or cylinder which is in a stagnant condition or a stationary and there is a two different uh, stream of flow clear there's a two different stream let's say these are two different of fluid stream which is moving uh, with a velocity of you can say a u infinity the initial velocity will be u infinity clear and that will comes at the contact of this uh, cylinder or sphere so at the front of the uh, body there will be the convergence and back side uh, the divergence of the fluid will be happen so that will look like this clear and uh, here you can also say at the center where the fluid will come that will get stagnant so that will be the stagnant condition so at frontal you can say there will be a in a frontal there will be at some distance you can say there will be the convergence will be happen clear there will be a convergence will be happen so for some angle there will be a convergence clear you can say for some angle there will be a convergence so let's say at this region the fluid will be converges and beyond that the fluid will start to be diverging and at some instant the fluid will uh, not support their motion or you can say momentum is not able to support the motion and the uh, fluid should develop a tendency for the separation so at this location the fluid may be separated so that will be a separation point s1 and s2 top and bottom and after the separation from this uh, object fluid will start to the recirculate clear behind the object and uh, that reason you may be uh, known as that is called the uh, ad uh, formation zone or weak reason or uh, you can say vertex reason clear i'm not going to uh, too much detail in a weak reason or ad reason what will happen in a weak and ad that is not our topic so if i looking uh, this uh, particular uh, region if i will take this particular small section of area da so that a small section of da will observe both type of forces or you can say let me take this is uh, x and y direction so this direction will be you can say x and that will let me take y this is parallel to the flow direction this will parallel to a flow direction this will parallel to the flow a direction clear if this is a uh, velocity will u infinity and initially u infinity is parallel to the x direction clear complete flow is in direction of x so that will parallel to the flow direction and y will be the perpendicular to the flow a direction perpendicular to the flow a direction clear y is perpendicular to the flow direction my dear student and uh, x is parallel to the flow direction so uh, i am already tell you the force or effect which is developed to the uh, parallel to the initial flow direction that will called a dragging effect so that will called the drag effect this will called a drag effect or you can say according to this this force will be the a uh, drag force and the force which is perpendicular to this that will called the lifting effect this you can say the lifting effect lifting effect or that will called the f of lift clear so there is two different forces will be developed one is a drag and another one is the lifting force what the drag force drag force is basically 1 by 2 rho u infinity square multiplied by cd and the area which is projected parallel to the flow direction clear that area will be projected to the flow direction projected to uh, parallel of flow direction parallel to flow direction clear and uh, what is the lifting that will 1 by 2 rho u infinity square and cl multiplied by area and that area is projected perpendicular to the flow direction that area is perpendicular to the flow direction clear 
so the difference is that in drag the area which is perpendicular uh, or you can say projected parallel to the flow direction and in lifting we should consider the area which is projected perpendicular to the flow direction clear so these are the concept of lift and drag you can say and how these are uh, going to affect clear if i will consider a aerofoil section clear so if this is you can say the aerofoil section and that aerofoil section will be mainly considered in a you can say high moving object high velocity moving object uh, such as you can say racing car and uh, maybe in a aeroplane you maybe observe a rocket clear so the flow direction initially is uh, you can say in x direction so this effect will be called the dragging and this effect will be the lifting effect same will happen in a any uh, plane vehicle if this plane is moving so that will provide the thrust clear and uh, if this is moving let me draw the diagram so if if, if this is a you can say a, a plane so due to the propeller or you can say engine this will develop the thrust in uh, forward direction and moving a uh, some velocity v and opposite to the motion there will be the drag force and perpendicular to that will develop the lifting force and uh, in downward there is a weight of this a uh, carrier clear mg so this is uh, you can say reaction which is going to be uh, developed in a, any uh, flight or you can say commercial system clear so this is a brief idea regarding the you can say drag and lift and that uh, we are going to discuss in detail in too much and uh, uh, in a fluid mechanics this topic is nearly you can say almost uh, uh three to four hour uh, if you look uh, for a proper visualization clear so remember that gate academy launches a uh, main batch regarding the gate 2023 that will the pratigya batch you may be enrolled if you're looking for the live classes in hindi language uh, so join the uh, uh, you can say course uh, by downloading the app uh, gate academy uh, learning app from the play store and uh, if you're looking for english language you may be a uh, visit the gate academy website and order uh, the uh, recorded course in a form of different different you can say uh, uh, system clear so this is the conclusion uh, regarding the pratigya batch okay so let me i will uh, just uh, say one thing join the batch and enjoy with the gate academy okay thank you and best of luck